Hello, welcome, or welcome back to Nell Pretech Corporation. We are an engineering services and metrology firm in Timley Park, Illinois. I'm the owner, Dave Nelson, and this is a long overdue addition to our library of technical tips for manufacturing quality professionals and quality technicians. For the 25 plus years that I've been doing this, one of the questions I'm constantly asked is how come we often can't repeatably or accurately measure a radius when we only have a small percentage of the arc length available. We discussed this in the video ahead. We do not get involved in the complex mathematics of measurement uncertainty. Uh, however, we do address it. And so at the very least, we hope this is a useful tool that not only visually validates our claim, but um, serves to uh, facilitate discussions amongst quality professionals and perhaps even customers and suppliers. So I hope you enjoy and thank you very much. Okay, so the topic here is unreliable radius measurement due to small arc length. First of all, when we measure surfaces, we have to recognize that nothing in life has perfect form. And therefore, if we're to be in compliance with design standards, we must consider form error in all of our measurements. Uh, by default, form error does have to be within the size tolerance limits on any given feature. But insofar as measurement reliability goes for small arc length radii in particular, form error alone or in combination with other factors can greatly increase measurement result variation. The diagram shown in this slide is of a small arc length illustrated by the yellow squiggly line of dramatically poor form. The blue dots represent one sampling of points to create a radius on that small arc. The resultant diameter is shown in blue, or the resultant radius. The set of green points is a slightly different sampling on the same arc of poor form that results in a different radius or different diameter illustrated in green. So you can see that the results can be quite different uh, with poor form. Now we're going to introduce measurement uncertainty as the primary contributor to unreliable radii measurement with a small arc length. It's not the object of this presentation to provide any kind of detailed instruction on the topic of measurement uncertainty or illustrate its complex mathematics. However, it is important to understand that there is uncertainty in every measurement that we take. On a typical coordinate measuring machine or vision system that is used for measurement, in a controlled environment, uncertainties are generally in the range of about 7 to 20 microns. The exception to that is that very high-end systems can be in the 1 or 2 micron or even sub-micron range for calibration equipment. But for the most part, uh, for laboratory grade type equipment that is commonly used in industry, we're dealing with uncertainty in that range. Essentially, this means that any given measurement point that is repeated over time will produce variable results in the range of that uncertainty. Whether you consider this alone or in combination with form error, you can start to paint a picture of the common problem of small arc length radii measurement reliability. So let's go ahead and apply uncertainty to the measurement points of a radius and visually interrogate the results. In the illustration below, the black circles represent the area of uncertainty of individual point measurements. That means for any given test run, the measurement point can vary within the range of uncertainty. So the red dot shows some of the different variations that can occur within that area for an individual point. Now we're going to go ahead and illustrate some different radii or constructed radii or constructed arcs that you can get through those areas of variation. In other words, with three points on a radius, you can get anything that goes through the three circles as the measured radius and the, therefore the measured center. The four examples below are some of the extremes. As you can see, the differences are much larger or much more exaggerated than the individual point uncertainties. Here we show the same example we did in the previous slide with 
differences in constructed radii through different point variations within the area of uncertainty, only the results are a little more dramatic because here we're showing you that the fewer degrees you have of the arc length, the more extreme the results become. If there are form errors within the boundaries of the uncertainties, then the results and repeatability can be even more affected. So look at the difference here between the red diameter and the large blue diameter. The small kind of smile, half smile, uh, is the true measure of, of an arc length that goes through uh, points within the area of uncertainty, and then we show a small constructed radius and a large constructed radius through those same areas of uncertainty. And the results are quite different. And here we're going to demonstrate our point of unreliable radius measurement due to small arc length by showing you that the opposite provides more reliability and less variation. So the more of the radial arc length that is available, the more restrictive the space becomes for a radius size calculation, and thus more reliable and repeatable and accurate. So again, the, the middle um, kind of three-quarters arcs, it looks like about 75% of a, of a total circle um, that goes through uh, an area of uncertainty. And then we have two sets of variation through those same areas of uncertainty on the extreme high side and extreme low side. And you can see that those differences are much um, less than in the previous slides where we had small amounts of arc length available. So as an evaluator, we must recognize the limitations of measurement under these conditions. We have a responsibility to provide accurate data. If it is not possible to provide accurate data in the case of small arc length radii or poor form or a combination of those, then we will negate any reporting on the feature or provide a simple visual verification of the feature existence. In either case, we're going to support that with professional statements and reasoning. So the moral of the story is, with a small arc, you'll be in the dark, but with a big arc, you'll hit the mark. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation. I hope you find it useful. And as always, if you have any questions or feedback, you can contact one of our many talented engineers and physicists here at Nell Pretech Corp.